G'day everyone, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for our weekly game day squad update. Things are looking up. The team that I invested so heavily in last week to get you know a gun player like a Platinum Clayton Oliver into the side and then filled a few holes in my back line and my midfield as well. It was a good week on the track and we're going to go through all of that in this update. I'm going to take you through my current team, how they're going. We've got more packs to open and to be honest, there's someone else on the transfer market that I am looking at buying. First of all, give a shout out to the uh, competition leaders. We've still got the same top three I think peanut butters Kappa and Majak me off leading the competition up there I've moved up to eighth which is if I'm not mistaken my best score of this or at least my highest ranking of this entire competition so far so the investments that I've put in my team are not only helping me in the short term but I also think they're going to help me in the long term as well with uh, someone like a Platinum and Clayton Oliver still got like what's he got like eight years left on his contract or something ridiculous it's not actually eight but it's like five or six years left right but we've got 89 members of this league now as well guys so it's great to see you guys get on board uh, make sure you check out the link in the description if you haven't already make an account it's all completely free and then you can play along with us so before we get into the packs and, and opening up new players as well we'll just do a little quick look at how my team went I still have six hundred thousand dollars remaining in my salary cap so if there's anyone out there that doesn't quite understand how the salary cap works I actually looked it up so we can have a look at it now so as you can see, every player is worth $500,000, that's bronze. So that's the baseline. Every player that you have in your team is worth a minimum of $500,000. But every different level of rarity that they go up, they go up by uh, either $50,000 or $100,000. So a silver player is worth five hundred and fifty dollars for instance. Gold worth six hundred and fifty. dollars I've got uh, one gold player in the team as it currently stands and one platinum. Uh, and a platinum player is costing me $750,000 there as well and a legend card of uh, which I don't have any and they're extremely rare as you can imagine uh, they're worth a million dollars as well so the thing is about getting a legend player as well yes their score gets multiplied by 1.5 whatever their score is for that given week but you have to be mindful of having a player in your team that's taking up a million dollars of salary cap so if you have you know a legendary card of Jai Cully for instance you know maybe down the track that could be a pretty good card to have but right now he's not worth taking up a million dollars of salary cap in your team so just things to consider but we'll go through how my team is looking so that defense uh, was looking a lot better this week as we can click on certain players you can see their score so in round six Luke Ryan his first week in the Western Stank Lords as my team is proudly named he scored uh, 144 so that's a great start and a great boost for my team I think Nick Newman had a particularly good game as well he scored 140 so straight off the bat my back line's uh, doing some good stuff Lockie Weller I know he had a good game too 156 so starting to score really highly with some of these defender players uh, Isaac coming I feel like he had a quiet one so after 134 in round five he dropped down to 63 with his average being 90 so he might be a little bit up and down as you can tell by his stats uh, let's go into the midfield this is where I got a little bit stung because Took Miller who I brought in last week to reinforce my midfield his average was like 123 I think he because he got injured and it's a bad knee injury potentially he only scored 61 and I've got to get him out of my side uh, I haven't actually seen his injury update I better check that after the, the video hopefully it's not an ACL but for the rest of them they did well uh, Clayton Oliver had he go so he scored uh, 126 actual points but because he's platinum I got an extra 38 points up to 164 there and his average was 182 when you consider these platinum as well that's amazing Adam Trelaw's having a great year as well 134 points what a Josh Dacos got he had a pretty solid game 123 so he's turning out to be a very very good game day squad player Tim English was pretty good in the ruck against Sean Darcy, at least statistically, 147 again. Uh, absolute lock for my best 22 spot. It would be nice to get an upgrade on him because he's still fairly young. I think he's 26, maybe. Assuming he's fit, he's just going to take that number one spot in my ruck uh, division every week. The forward line is an interesting one. I, it's, a, it's a bit of a mixed bag, but I've got some really good performers in here. Jeremy Cameron is arguably the best player in the competition at the moment. He scored 114. Look at those scores, 173, 172. Uh, Charlie Cameron bag seven. What did he got? He got 132 and he kicked six goals a few weeks ago and got 134. So uh, he's not going to get, you know, your classic 110 every week like you would want to bank someone in fantasy. But as far as that, like luck goes of having those players, I'm doing very, very well. Oscar Allen, he's third in the in the Coleman at the moment. He was uh, 94 because he's gold. So he scored 78 and got 94. So I'm pretty happy with those scores. The only one that really burned me was uh, Took Miller getting injured with his knee. And the fact that I've still got $500,000 extra in my salary cap that I could be using to improve the squad. So that's what today's about. So I've got two specific plans of how I'm going to do that in this video. The first one is uh, I've got some packs to open. So in my packs, I have grabbed 
a rare pack. So we're gonna go through what that looks like shortly, but I've also got some starter packs that I'm gonna open first. So these are the ones that you get given to you weekly uh, without having to spend any money. So we'll see what we got. I, I really need defenders and forwards, and it looks like I've been given one ruck card, and or one ruck pack rather, and two defender packs. So we'll have a look at the ruck pack. Who have we got? We have got... Jared Witz, that's not a bad one. He's uh, he obviously is a bronze. I think all of these players are going to be bronze, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe you could get a silver. I'm not 100% sure. But got Jared Witz. Uh, he's a good ruck option. Uh, it doesn't let me check his scores. I can do that a little bit later. But Tim English is going to be locked and loaded as my ruck anyway. So the best he can hope for is a bench spot. But I've also got Roland Marshall. Let's go into the defender packs. Who have I got? Nathan Broad. Okay, sweet. So we'll go back to my packs and see who else I've got. I've got a last player. Nick Newman. Okay, I already had him. So, yeah, a bit of a sw swing and a miss there for my defenders. And if I go to switch the bench spot, I can see... Uh, I can find Nathan Broad now. So, I'll just swap him, just because I want to see what his score is. There's probably a more efficient way to do that. His average is 80.5. He's just played in rounds one and two. Oh, yeah, he must. he's injured. <laughs> so, don't worry about that. I'm just going to switch him back. Cool, and I'm just going to have a look at exactly what uh, Jared Witz is averaging. 109.5, so there's no point switching it for Royal Marshall. So I didn't get too much out of that, unfortunately. But I said I was going to try and improve this squad, try and get my salary cap back up to that maximum capacity. Just as an aside, someone did ask if we can change the salary cap in our competition. I believe the answer is no. So $12 million is the salary cap, um, and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that to change it. Your options in that case would be to potentially you know, sell the ones that you don't want, or you can just keep them on the back burner, because remember, this is these are long-term assets. It's not just about this season. So I've got a rare pack of three players, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll just show you what a rare pack, which was uh, $9.99, would actually get you. So this rare pack contains three player cards to use in your fantasy squad. 0% chance of it being bronze or silver. There's an 80.62% chance of it being a gold player. There's 16% chance of it being platinum, and then diamond 3% and legend 0.03. So legend cards are extremely rare, as you can imagine. Obviously, the risk with this is that it could be a, uh, you know, I could get a gold version of, I'm trying to think of a random player, Arlo Draper, who's probably a long way off, you know, being a long-term consistent AFL player. Or it could be a gold version of bloody Jeremy Cameron, you know, who knows. So, I've got three players, let's open it up. Here we go. Dyson Heppel, interesting. He's gold as well. Harry Rouston, so that's probably a long-term one. We'll have a look at their stats shortly. And Lockie O'Brien. Okay, so no guns there. Probably a bit of a swing in the miss, but we'll have a look at my squad uh, and see exactly how they shape up in terms of their averages. So I'm going to go a quick way. I'm going to go to my cards, and then I'm going to go to gold rarity here, and it'll just sh show me exactly who I've got, uh, which is all the players there. So Lockie O'Brien... Uh, this is defaulted to let me try and sell him. His average is 41, uh, which is not great. Dyson Heppel, 89.6, is solid, but nothing special. Harry Rouston, I'm not mad about, because while his average is only 45.6, he could be a long-term player. Versus uh, Lockie O'Brien, probably fringe player at Carlton. The chances of him becoming a gun are pretty slim, in my opinion. And Dyson Apple's at the end of his career. So, didn't do too great out of that. I might just try and sell them for like 50 cents, and I'll keep Rouston for now. For the record, Luke Foley played on the weekend and uh, did all right. So, he scored 76, uh, because he's gold, it would have been 91.2. So, I didn't have him in my side, uh, but if he's got a game now, maybe there's a chance he becomes an AFL defender. Who knows? So, I've gone through this entire video and haven't been able to improve my squad just yet. However, I do have uh, $4.99 still in my account, and the reason is I've got someone looking in mind specifically for improving my squad. So, defenders and forwards uh, is obviously my weakness, more so the forward line now. When you look, I've got Riley Thilthorpe still on the side at 70.4, uh, Zerha 80, Nick Martin 87.8, Eric Hoopwood on the bench at 59.3. So I can do a lot better here. There's someone I got in mind and I did a little bit of homework before I, I started this video. And let's go into the transfer market actually. So the player I had in mind was a good long-term forward who's gonna be in this side for a while and plays a bit of midfield to get some possessions. And the player I have in mind is Josh Rochelle. So let's search by Josh Rochelle and see what the market is asking for him. Great, so this search then filters all the Josh Rochelle's that are on the market at the moment. So there's a bronze one, uh, which I'm not really necessarily interested in. As you can see, they've asked, they've set it to make an offer as well. So I can't even really be bothered doing that. Whereas some people have, have set specific prices. So a silver 1.1 times Josh Rochelle is going for $8, so what would his average be? 119, but I reckon we can do better. There's a gold one for 10 bucks, 130.6. 
Here we go. This is the one I'm looking for. There's a number of Josh Rochelle's, if you scroll down a little bit, that are only going for $4 and are gold. So his average would be 130.6. And because I'm plotting the trajectory of him, I think he's a talented player. I think he'll be around for a while. I think this would be a very worthy thing to spend $4 on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy Josh Rochelle for my forward line which improves my side by 50 points every week. So the most obvious one there is to switch out Riley Thilthorpe, the lowest average player, uh, who's going to be a good long-term player, but at the moment, it doesn't really compare to Josh Rochelle, who I swap in. So Josh Rochelle is now in my side at 130.6, and let's see what it has done to the salary cap. I still have $450,000 remaining in my cap so that's really really good really happy with that still potential to improve the side week on week anyway guys that will wrap up the update of my game day squad really enjoying this game hope you are too uh, make sure you join the competition if you haven't already with the link in the description all completely free i know that i'm spending a little bit of money to improve my squad but i a i'm enjoying the game uh, and i want to and b there are heaps of weekly prizes you can win as well so it's never too late to join the season but thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video cheers